Hi, this is Christian, and welcome to NFL Updates Express, your weekly dose of NFL news. Coming your way, Week 9 Predictions. We start off between a pretty good matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the Houston Texans. Now, at the beginning of the season, this would have been the game of the week for sure, and it still is. But the Texans have not been good this season, and now they're starting quarterback Case Keenum. But for the Texans to upset, they'll have to double-team T.Y. Hilton and hope that Darius Hayward Bay doesn't perform. The Colts are without Reggie Wayne after going out for the season with a knee injury, but Andrew Luck is ready on Sunday Night Football to win once again and prove he is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. I think the Colts will win and Andrew Luck will have a great game. Dylan's prediction is the Indianapolis Colts. Next up we have the New England Patriots taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now the Steelers, they have been a disappointment this season and fresh off of a loss to the Oakland Raiders and only two wins on the season, the Steelers are hoping to get back on track against the New England Patriots. But unfortunately for the Steelers, the New England Patriots are doing very good this season despite all the injuries and player losses. Tom Brady has been Tom Brady, and even though he hasn't been the best, he's been very good. And hopefully for Tom Brady and the Pats, that should be enough to get them the win. I think the Patriots will pull out the win on this one. Dylan's prediction is the New England Patriots. There could be an upset brewing when the New Orleans Saints take on the New York Jets. Now the Jets, as we all know, have a pretty good defense. And the Saints defense has gotten a lot better. And for the Saints offense, well, we know how good that is with Jimmy Graham, Drew Brees, Marcus Colston, and Darren Sproles. But Geno Smith has been a surprise in the NFL, leading to the Jets to four wins this season when many predicted them that they wouldn't even get a win this season. The Jets have been a mediocre team with a 4-4 four and four record. They started out with a win and then a loss, a win, a loss, a win, a loss, and then another win and another loss. So they've been decent. So if the pattern continues, the Jets should get a win. But I think the pattern will be stopped, and the New Orleans Saints will pick up a W. Dylan's prediction is the New Orleans Saints. It's the Chicago Bears, the Monsters of the Midway, and the Green Bay Packers. Now this matchup is not going to be as good because Jay Cutler is not in, but then again you could say the Packer fans are actually less happy because Jay Cutler hasn't had much success against Green Bay lately. And Aaron Rodgers has against the Bears. The Bears defense has struggled this season when a usually marquee defensive team has struggled. And also, the Bears offense, they've gotten a lot better with Alshon Jeffrey and Matt Forte along with Brandon Marshall all having stellar seasons. The Packers haven't been as good as advertised, but their running game has been stellar with Eddie Lacy and James Starks. It's going to be a tough matchup for the Bears without Jay Cutler, with Josh McCown at the helm, and so I'll take the Green Bay Packers to win the game. Dylan's prediction is the Chicago Bears.
the Bengals have been very good this season, and part of it is because of quarterback Andy Dalton. He has stepped up in the past few weeks, leading the Bengals to a couple of wins, and hopefully for the Bengals, they can make a deep playoff run. Can Andy Dalton get it done? We'll find out. This time we're ranking the top five defenses. Coming in at number five is a toss up between the Arizona Cardinals and the St. Louis Rams. The Rams defense is ferocious, especially on the defensive line, but their secondary isn't that good. The Cardinals on the other hand have both a great secondary and a great pass rush. So I'd give the edge to Arizona. Coming in at number four is the San Francisco 49ers defense. The Niners defense has always been good ever since Jim Harbaugh has came into town and the Niners continue to have one of the best defenses. At number three is the Seattle Seahawks. With the Legion of Boom, this defense just keeps getting better. Coming in at number two this year is the Carolina Panthers. Holding teams to pretty good numbers and having a lot of sacks from Charles Johnson and Greg Hardy and of course Luke Keekley. this team is a force to be reckoned with, with week in and week out. And coming in at number one is the Kansas City Chiefs. We all know about them from Justin Houston and Eric Berry. This defense is the best defense in the NFL. 